What's the best diet for building muscle? Well, what is muscle made of? And I'm shocked I haven't seen anyone else discuss this before, but it's evident in many bodybuilders and athletes' diets that they found out what foods work without realizing this. The food simply being red meat. And I know my voice sounds a little weird. Uh, if you guys missed my vlog yesterday, I accidentally inhaled some enzyme powder. So the enzymes definitely work. However, uh, my vocal cords and lungs are still recovering. This isn't just about bodybuilding though. One of the most significant factors in keeping your body healthy is maintaining as much muscle mass as possible. We see muscular deterioration very obviously in vegans, even vegetarians, and it happens in the elderly typically because of budget and food access. Most are not well off and they're stuck eating low priced foods which happen to lack animal nutrition. So on this board is the nutritional profile of one pound of beef and we can assume the muscle tissue in our body is similar to the muscle tissue in animals. Definitely not identical but it gives us a pretty good starting blueprint of what we need to consume and obviously if you just eat the red meat you're going to be pretty close. Now we don't have the the full amino acid profile here which is very important there's just so many of them and those nutrients to identify in the context of function and maintaining this muscle mass for bodybuilding it's a lot simpler you know you might need some glucose some starch some carbs maybe some fats for energy and then the other stuff is more nutrition you, know, you need vitamin c vitamin d you go down the whole laundry list but strictly just for muscle building you don't need that much it's really just the energy and then what's in the meat now, if you've been carnivore or you've already been consuming a lot of animal protein, then your approach to this is going to be a lot different than someone who is on the opposite end of the spectrum, such as a standard American diet. Now, I haven't worked out in months and months and months since I stopped the bodybuilding transformation, but because my diet is very healthy and I still have a base amount of animal protein, I have maintained my muscle mass. If I happen to go vegan or vegetarian, I would probably lose that muscle mass. So once you have the base that was obtained from eating animal protein, then the only way you lose it is if you stop eating animal protein. So if the average person incorporates half a pound to one pound of high quality grass fed beef into their diets on a daily basis, then over the course of several months, they will naturally improve their body composition by putting on muscle mass and losing fat. Even though meat is rich in vitamins, it is not enough to bring you back from years and years of poor dieting, which is uh, why supplementing can help, but it's also a double-edged sword. And the reason I say high-quality grass-fed beef is because when you look at the nutritional profile of pork, of chicken, of certain things, it's just not as complete, mainly because of the quality and what they're feeding the animals. Now, it's pretty simple from that supplement perspective. A good B-complex vitamin and digestive enzyme in regards to muscle hypertrophy, putting on muscle is all you really need. You know, health and optimization, that, that's a completely different discussion and I've gone over that on my channel in many other videos. And the reason it's B vitamins is because about half of these are not high enough in meat for human standards. And digestive enzymes, because you want to make sure when you eat red meat, you're actually absorbing every single thing in it. And over time, the cells in your body will be replaced by the high quality meat you're eating. The protein and fat in your body is made up of the protein and fat you've been consuming for years and years and years. So do you want it to be composed of high quality grass fed beef and venison or conventional grain fed meat? Even worse, whatever stands in American dieters are eating for their protein source, bologna sandwiches. Maybe your body gets 40, 50, 60% of the way there in a few months in terms of how you feel, and then the rest takes quite a bit longer. Now, vegans and vegetarians love being paper value warriors, saying that combining certain things like brown rice and lentils, various grains and legumes, you can match the amino acid profile of steak. Problem is, you would need over five pounds, six pounds, seven pounds of grains, legumes to match one pound of beef. And even if you could consume that volume of food, you wouldn't even digest half of it. So there's this big lie being pushed by mainstream sources that plant protein is the same as animal protein. It drives me crazy when people say peanut butter is a good source of protein. 
but they leave out the most significant fact that the human digestive system cannot process that volume of protein. Even so, it's just one small component of meat. The plant options don't have the cholesterol, don't have the saturated fat, and many minerals that compose our bodies. You would need an entire supplement cabinet to get even close. So hypothetically, could you supplement every single one of these things? And amino, I mean, it wouldn't be vegan or vegetarian, first of all. You couldn't get cholesterol. And one thing we didn't mention yet is, yeah, muscle is predominantly the lean protein, the B vitamins, minerals, but even if the protein is very lean, there's still fat and cholesterol in it. Regardless of how lean you get your steak, there's still going to be some fat and cholesterol in the meat. Therefore, you want what's in your body, in your physical muscle tissue, to be the highest quality and the healthiest possible, and you need you know, to not be eating lean chicken breast and stuff. Again, the focus is gaining and maintaining muscle mass, not optimizing health. And the main reason I wanted to make this point is because I haven't seen it, and I can't remember if I've said it in the past, that how, how has no one looked at this yet? That, you know, your muscle looks like steak, it's red meat, it's a similar composition. It's why you see strong men and bodybuilders eating large amounts of steak and rice. There could be improvements from a food quality perspective and high quality enzymes to improve digestion if needed. But that type of diet combined with performance enhancing drugs are the majority of the metabolic needs for putting on as much muscle tissue as possible. Which brings up the hormonal component that is difficult to correct. You can include the positives, the nutrients you need to produce hormones like testosterone and estrogen but it's hard to remove the negatives, the plastics, pollutants, it's nearly impossible. That's why I try to eat everything organic and consume the reproductive organs of animals frequently, which contain bioidentical hormones for our own bodies. And you know, we said earlier that maintaining and producing muscle is important for overall health and longevity, and that ties in with some products I do have available. So organ supplements, we do have a natural B complex, we have plenty of minerals, but the main thing you're looking at on organsupplements.com is that natural B complex as well as female fertility and male virility, the two uh, reproductive organs that are freeze dried powders that will improve your own sexual function and hormone production. On frankiesfreerangefoods.com, we have Flextrose, which is a natural glucose product, basically the best fuel you can give your body. And honestly, I mean, Frankie's Free Range, I mean, of course, we have a lot of red meat, but. Uh, th those are two main things that you would supplement from a performance inspective and probably see improvements because most bodybuilders aren't doing stuff like that. The B-complex as well as uh, the Flextros. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can check out all of those businesses on Frank stefano.com thanks again guys and i'll see you for tomorrow